welcome to vlogmas day number two um wow i <laughs> i'm exhausted today um i went out last night i'm not a massive drinker i only had like one maybe two drinks um and i was back and in bed by half 11 because i'm a party animal um i don't know about you guys but as i've got older i genuinely like nothing more than getting into bed <laughs> I'm getting just so sad, aren't I? Anyway, um, I got home and then Lucas started to be sick. Um, he's okay. I think it's more like a cough. Like, he's got a really bad cough that keeps making him sick. Um, but, yeah, my night, I was up pretty much all through the night. Um, and But one positive is I didn't put their Christmas bedding on yesterday, which I was going to. And I didn't have time. And how lucky is that now? Because... He was sick, he was in Leo's bed and he was sick all over Leo and Leo's bed. So I had to strip Leo's bed and try and sort it out so Leo could sleep in there, put him into his bed and then literally an hour later he was sick in his. So I've got to strip both beds. I'm gonna put the Christmas bed in on now because I do think he's feeling a lot better, thank the Lord. He doesn't seem to be coughing as much today. So I'm gonna strip the beds, put that on to wash and put the Christmas bedding on. And then also I am going to film my Primark haul today. Um, we shall probably go up, I'm just trying to think when that's gonna go up. Um, but what I, I'm thinking what I might do is, so this is my plan so far. So I think that I'm going to do my home bargains come shop with me in this vlog because I, didn't, I was going to do a standalone video, but I thought, you know what, since I'm doing Vlogmas, I'll just pop it in a vlog. So I'm going to do my home bargains, come shop with me, and I'm probably going to sit down and edit that and like do a voiceover and talk, talk you through the store, basically. Um, and then I've filmed the haul, which I will probably do tomorrow. Then I've got two Decorate With Me videos coming on Monday and Tuesday because they're branded videos. Um, I'm working with HelloFresh and working with Decenio. And then on Wednesday, I think I'm going to do my Primark haul. So I'm like, I'm getting there. But yeah, last night has really knocked me back now because I'm just so tired today. Um, but I'm going to get these beds done now and then I will do the come shop with me. So I'm going to be doing a Home Bargains Come Shop With Me in a little bit, but this is the duvet set that I got from there for the boys' bedrooms. It was just £20 for the double, and it's reversible. I can't wait to share this with you. I love it so, so much, and the quality is incredible. And this is it. I absolutely love it. Do you love it, Leo? Yeah, I love it. Yeah. Say hi. He loves this one. Is it soft? Oh, no. <laughs> You're right. Is it yeah. soft? Very. Very. And look at this on the little Rudolphs. I've got little pom-poms. Don't know how that's going to go with the cats, there's but... Four. There's four. There's yeah, I don't know how the cats are going to go with those, but um, <laughs> for £20, this is amazing quality, and I can't get over how soft it is, um, and the pattern is so beautiful. I looked at so many different bedspreads, and I really wanted a fleecy one. So, yeah, this one, £20, home bargains, and Leo loves it too. <laughs> And this is the other side, so this reversible and this is like a candy cane side. So you could just flip the pillows, you could just flip the blanket, but it is so, so soft. It is unbelievable. I also just had a little hack that I thought I'd share with you. If you are anything like me and the bed sheets, like the duvet moves around in the bed sheet, one thing I would really recommend is getting one of these little micro stitches. I got mine from Amazon. Um, I think it was about £30, so it's not the cheapest, but it comes in so useful for so many things, like putting tags in clothes and stuff. And then the one thing I find it really useful for is when you've got like a fleecy blanket like this um, and it slides around on your duvet. So all you do is you get your duvet inside and your duvet cover. And then what you want to do is you just literally micro stitch the corner so you poke the needle through and it puts a little stitch in yeah you can't even see it. it's a tiny tiny stitch inside there and it's basically just to stop the duvet coming away from the cover um, and i always do this on like a couple of the corners of the duvet especially if it falls down shake that now the duvet won't come out of that corner it's like held in place um and they're only really, really tiny and they're really easy to get off as well. So it's just a nice little hack to stop your corners coming out um, of duvets, especially, if, like I said, if you've got fleecy ones like that. 
thought I'd share with you. Um, I'll link this down below if I can. I know that you can get cheaper versions on like Timu and stuff, but um, I got this from Amazon. I'm just in Leo Lucas's bedroom and making his Christmas blanket. And I just wanted to show you this because this is one of the gifts that is gonna be on my gift guide um, for children. So Lucas is just turning six now. And this is the play that I'm going to be talking to you about because genuinely he loves this. He's played with this. He had this last Christmas um, and they play with this in the summer and in the winter. Like literally look at him. He's got his hat, he's got his gloves on and he's out there. It's frosty outside. You can, you can literally see the frost on the grass next door. Um, but yeah, he just loves it so, so much. So this is something I would highly recommend. This is the one I got from The Works. And I think it's £12 a box. I bought two boxes because there's not really that much in one box. Um, so I've got two boxes of those. But yeah, he loves that so much. Okay, guys, this is it. This is the Home Bargains Come Shop With Me. This is the large store in Willanor. So it's about half an hour, 45 minutes away from me. But it was worth every mile that I travelled to get here. So as soon as you walk through the door, look at these bath bombs. They were like game controllers. I thought they were incredible. I actually wish I'd have picked up some for the boys. Um, and then they had them gorgeous carton style bath salts, which were all festive. And yeah, so loads and loads to choose from. I couldn't believe the aisles. As soon as I walked in, I actually picked up some from this range which I will show you and then I also got I'm just about to pick it up in two seconds this little like squishy um it's like a pad but all those little bits come out of the zip my friend picked one up of those for a little girl those hand washes there I actually bought last year they're really good presents this range of the Grinch is huge don't come for me I'm not a Grinch fan but if you are a Grinch fan they had like half an aisle dedicated to everything Grinch. Okay, now clothes. Just wow. That one I've just pointed to is the one that I've got my eye on for Christmas, which I will be hint, hint, hinting at Matt for. But wow, they had so many bits in the pajamas. They had the Barbie ones. Do you know what? I actually really love the Barbie one as well. So I'm just gonna have to debate if I want that. They had this cute little koala set. I picked up some pyjamas from in here because I love the Home Bargains pyjamas. They are so soft and comfortable. This little loungewear set, it was the Barbie loungewear set. I loved that. Then moving on to like gift sets again, an absolute huge aisle full of so many little gift sets, really reasonably priced. I mean, you can see a lot of the prices on there, $2.99, $3.99. I picked up something else from this aisle as well, which I'll be showing in my haul tomorrow. But they had those little face mask gift sets in there. They also had like Dove ones, they had perfume ones, they had makeup ones. They had all these little makeup cases, they had pyjama gift sets, they had beauty ones. Yeah, there were just so, so many to choose from. And everything looked so nice and such good quality. It was so well packaged. I love those little earmuffs and coffee mug for $4.99. Just incredible. Then again, clothes. The whole back wall was even more clothes. They had like loungewear sets. This one was really beautiful and like a cream colour. And then I spy with my little eye in a second, um, my pyjamas that I bought, which am I gonna get over there soon? <laughs> so like, I actually loved this zebra one. I almost got this one because it was so, so soft. There was the Jeff Banks range. And then I spy with my delight. This is the pyjama set that I bought. And they also had like this star version as well in there, which I thought was really nice. But so many pyjamas. And then Christmas. Guys, I'm not going to be able to talk you through everything Christmas. There is so, so much. What I absolutely loved about Home Bargains and this store in particular was everything was organised by colour. So they pretty much had everything in every different colour, but you had an aisle for all the silver, you had an aisle for the red, you had an aisle for pink, and then there was like sections for like the Candyland stuff. So yeah, I'm just gonna let this play through so you can see all the different things. This is like the Scandi theme here. So this is was where I just absolutely loved a lot of stuff. Oh, there goes a nutcracker. <laughs> and these arches, eight foot arches for $79.99. I genuinely was thinking where I could put one of those in my home, but I didn't have any. 
but I did get something else from this section, which I'll be showing you again in my haul tomorrow. But so much to choose from. Unbelievable, way more than I see in my local home bargains. Loved it so much. So that was lots of the decorations and then they also had so many beautiful crackers and Christmas Eve boxes and gift wrap. And then on the end of this aisle which is coming up is all the Disney stuff. They also had the most amazing section for like activity books and stickers and gift tags and things to do with your children over Christmas. They had like the little letters to Santa packs for a pound, sleigh bells. Um, bunting they had all these little photo prop kits and then they also had all these like DIY um, projects to do like cookie cutters make your own wreaths little notepad and pencils and um, they also had like make your own baubles they had little craft bundles make your own bunting they also had like all the things to create balloon arches that i thought was so cute that little snowball fight tin if you have little visitors this year they also had all the storage boxes and everything for your baubles and when you're packing your decorations away at the end of the year and then these beautiful sacks as well then we went down this aisle and they also had these little um candy cane stocking holders which were beautiful and another aisle just dedicated to christmas pajamas and christmas outfits i absolutely loved that fair old jumper and leggings if they'd have had it in my size it would have been coming home with me they also had the little just to the left of that the north and um, the polar express top and pajamas that everybody went crazy for and some beautiful christmas pajamas they're the velvet ones as well they had some christmas jumpers in there for children if you've got a christmas jumper day at school and they also had these little sets in for charity and then pillows i loved that little um sweet pillow it almost came home i'm not going to lie but i had to restrain myself because at this point my trolley was probably overflowing um <laughs> and then we went down the light section and they had just so many things they had if you're doing like a christmas village or anything big they had all the, like the little houses they had little tin um christmas ornaments they had those ones that go outside they had like the reindeers spiral trees you name it, they had it. I loved that hot air balloon one. I thought that was really cute. And then they had all like the ones, um, presents that go under this tree. I think I've seen that LED star on social media somewhere as well. That looks great. That blow up seven foot Santa was just $24.99 as well. The prices on these were really, really reasonable. That one there, that Santa there, that's $14.99. Um, it was just crazy. They also had Christmas trees in here if you hadn't picked up yours yet and that was the end of that aisle I think and then we went on to like the gifts of confectionery. The tins in here were so cute and look at the prices on them, £2.49, £3.99, that little Christmas tree tin was so so cute and they also have the ones that look like books i got my mom one of those around easter time but they also have like a christmas one all your advent calendars all the things for the children however did not spy any mint uh, terry's chocolate mint which wasn't great this little matcha set i loved i don't like matcha myself but i thought that was so nice all like the mugs they've got that little santa biscuit tip then all the bedding there was so many bedspreads to choose from if you've seen my haul not my haul and um, my video i did the other day i showed you the bedding i bought for the boys such good value for money and then we went down like the kitchen aisle and saw all the christmas kind of i don't know how what you would call this all the chinaware i suppose that little serving dish there 12.99 they had some beautiful christmas mugs in there i loved those ones with the christmas tree and like the one that said jolly and then the little stocking boots were really cute. They had the Christmas tree chopping boards and then all these really beautiful mulled wine um, glass cups as well. I was trying to show you as much as I could, but there was just so much in there. This trifle dish, I keep picking up and putting back every time I go in there. I have to tell myself I don't need it. <laughs> but anyway, yes, they had all the table decorations. So the table, tablecloths, the seat, chair covers and um, little tins and um, little cupcake cases and placemats and then they also had these 
Look at these. How cute. 5 99 for a little Christmas tree drinks dispenser and then the glasses to match 140 We did take a walk down the toy aisle, but I think at this point it was getting a bit ridiculous. If you can see my, <laughs> my trolley there, it was just too much. So we had one little look down the pet aisle. They had so many Christmas little pet jumpers. Look at that cat bed, which is also a Santa hat. They had the little sacks. And then that was it guys i'm just going to leave you with some footage now of like the rest of the decoration aisles because like i said there was so so much to choose from but if you do have a flagship home bargain store near you i would highly recommend it for a day out because even if you didn't buy anything it was just so nice to look at all the different things however i will warn you that when you next walk into your local home bargains <laughs> you will realize how there is hardly anything in there compared to these stores but it, i really enjoyed it on this retail park in particular if you are in my area they also had a massive b&m opposite and then a costa coffee also so perfect day out for me home bargains b&m and a Costa coffee to finish. So that's it for today, guys. Thank you ever so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I would love for you to subscribe and stick around for the rest of Vlogmas. So I'm gonna leave you with some home bargains, decoration aisles, and I will see you tomorrow.